Aries. Thank you so much for watching Mama Faya today. Um, I'm going to do your reading um, real quick. I'm going to do an abundance reading for Aries. I'm going to do abundance readings for um, all week. I'm hoping to focus on something a little different than relationships, but also, um, of course, if relationships come into play, then they will definitely, um, you know, be mentioned. But I'm not going to focus on relationships this week. I'm going to focus on like abundance and how to bring it in. And I'm also going to do a little contest. So the contest is whoever gets the most views, likes, um, and, you know, um, things like that will go first next week. So Aquarius has been killing it since I started. Those views and likes and all that um, and interaction is um, definitely number one this week and has been number one since I started. So I definitely want my Aries Collective to get the numbers up a little bit. And definitely please, please subscribe um, and like this chant, this video if, if it resonates with you, you know, or even just like it anyway if you watch some of it. And maybe it doesn't all resonate, but you just appreciate that I'm here and giving you a free reading. Just that like button is really helpful and that subscribe button is huge. So if you guys could just smash those two real quick, that would be really, really helpful in a nice positive energy exchange for me. Um, also, I'm going to start this reading off with a quick prayer. Uh, just because I have noticed that there have been... Um, there have been... Dude, I've been doing weird stuff all day. Like I accidentally signed up for band. So I signed up for band camp because I'm going to play my girl's music. Uh, her band is Lockett. My girl Bridget is the lead singer and she gave me permission to use her music for this reading, which is awesome. Um, so I'm going to do that and I'm going to try and link it below if I can. Um, Lockett is a all-female, I believe, uh, Boston-based band, and they are really good. So I'm going to play them during the reading, uh, see if we get any messages from their songs. Um, but also, uh, so I screwed up, though, signing up for Bandcamp, and I wrote mamagayataro at gmail.com instead of mamafaya. So I signed up for Bandcamp all wrong. Just trying to support my friend. I had no intention of probably doing Bandcamp before, but I noticed I could spend her you know, send her a couple bucks for her album for letting me use it. And, you know, mess that up. I'm like, I am just like, I don't know about you guys, but these retrogrades, um, I've got to slow down a little bit and stop moving so fast because I'm making dumb little mistakes. And that's the opposite of um, being conscious and, and making conscious decisions, like entering the right email. But I did think it was kind of funny that it was Mama Gaia. Mama Gaia only spelled wrong, tarot. Uh, I'm like, shit, I should have just called myself Mama Gaia. Um, especially since my Aries don't love me all that much. I need, you, I need more love for my Aries, okay, guys? So I am an Aries. I need you guys to, I'm um, an Aries sun, Venus, and Mars. And so I definitely need you guys to show me more love, my Aries collective. You know, I tell you how much I love you. I need you to show me so you can be number one again next week. That's what I want. I want my Aries to be number one. Okay, so whether you're an Aries sun, moon, or rising, or Venus, or whatever, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and uh, we will be good. All right, enough of that. All right. Dear Father God, Mother Gaia, higher self, spirit guides, and angels, please protect me and my viewers by only allowing messages in from the highest of vibrational beings and block any negative energies from entering this sacred space. So mote it be. Okay, we good. I'm gonna memorize that eventually. I think that's a sweet little prayer. I like it. And Queen Cup liked it too, so that's all that matters. All right, guys. So yeah, I'm almost at 100 subscribers and I'm about to throw a party. So please, I hope I hit that 100 subscribers today. Maybe an Aries friend will smash that subscribe button and the like button and and you guys will bring mama fire tarot right to the top of that suggestion list for other people um just trying to grow 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 and i want to just say thank you so much to everybody who already has um those 99 people who have signed up to subscribe to this channel thank you a million times uh you guys are officially my day ones Woo, Aries, unlock the magic within. 
that's my magician card obviously in this oracle deck um you've got to understand how powerful you are <sighs> got some psychics and definitely some areas with some Pisces in their chart. So I've got Pisces in my Mercury. So you may think like a Pisces like me, especially if you're born uh, and if you're in March Aries. Um, but any of my Aries watching right now, uh, you are highly, highly intuitive. And you just got to wait for it. Wait for the abundance to come in. Remember, we set an intention to talk about abundance. Ooh. My Aries can do battle by themselves, so don't worry. If you feel like you're, like, all alone in this cold, cold world, you're not. All right? And just know that the best has yet to come for my Aries. You guys just got to unlock the magic within. And whatever that means for you, usually that means exploring your gifts. Ooh, seven of wands. Interesting. That's defensive energy. It's outside defensive. You may have some haters, Aries. I mean... Nine of Cups over the Five of Cups. All right, look. I know I said I wasn't going to talk about uh, relationships here, but Aries, um, you got to understand that even if people hurt you, you still have mad love in your life. You can't just focus on that. Really focus on your wishes coming true. Manifest with that magician energy. If we focus on the negative, if we're always looking at the cups, right? The cups that we spilled the milk, the milk is gone. It's in the sand, right? But you still got the two cups behind you, which means you still got mad love, Aries. Don't focus on the haters. Focusing on the haters uh, only brings in more hate, all right? You want to focus on the lovers, the people who do love you, and the people who, yep, focus on healing self. Like, even me, like, lately, like, I'm looking tired. I feel fine, but I feel like I look really tired. And I'm, I've been having a ton of ascension symptoms and allergies and shit. So, like, please know, like, Aries, if you're not feeling physically great, make sure you're getting the rest and recoup that you need. Make sure you're not pushing yourself too hard. Make sure that you are finding a healthy balance because this is a bit of an emotional roller coaster I'm looking at for Aries. It gets defensive, then happy, then sad, then healing. So, I mean... Yeah, you definitely may be on a bit. Yeah, let go of all the pain. Let go of the past. Let go of that Five of Cups energy. Let go of anybody. If someone didn't want to be in your life, Aries, it's fine. You know, or if someone didn't meet expectations, or if, you know, I don't know, or if work didn't, you may be wanting to look for another job, you know? Um... Some of my areas may be looking for other other work, uh, and that's understandable. I mean, I'm always looking for new clients. I'm not looking for a new job, but there's definitely some areas out there who may be thinking about switching companies um, because the place that they work at doesn't value them. Maybe those, maybe you're in a toxic work environment. Yeah, maybe you can go into private practice on your own areas. I mean, doing things, being bad all by yourself is is the message here. Um, you know, and you can, whatever it is to bring in abundance, Aries, you're a leader and you can do it on your own, but you feel trapped. Damn it. Damn it. You feel trapped, Aries. By your circumstances. Sorry, I need a sip of tea. You do. I, I think you feel trapped by possibly a big company or the money is good where you're at. And if you've got a family to feed, that can be real hard. It can be, you know, but your happiness means a lot too. Your health is your wealth. Ooh, death in the king of wands. Yep, there it is. Ooh, my nose is itching. Become your own boss. Son, I'm basically my own boss. I come up with my hours. I do what I, I want to do. And my areas would be better off doing that too if they can manage it. It looks like you do have a strong male in your life, too, if you're a female, that you can rely on, which is awesome. Um, if not, then you're really encompassing that King of Wands energy yourself. You're really starting to embrace that masculine boss energy, like, yeah, I can run a company, or I can run a business, or I can lead, I can lead this bitch. Yeah, because that's what Aries does. I mean, that's Leo energy, for sure. 
for shizzy shizzy so a seven of wands um strong virgo and aquarius showing up and scorpio of course scorpio always shows up in the aries readings seven of wands i mean seven of swords whoops seven of swords and seven of cups whoa all right this happened earlier in a different deck but two sevens came out like that okay ace of cups with the seven of cups and the s seven of swords Ooh. Aries, you may need to sneak away and open up those doors. I wouldn't tell anybody. <laughs> I feel funny saying this on a YouTube video. I feel like I should be just talking now. Like, you know, just me and you. But honestly, um, yeah, you may need to sneak away from some shit so that you can open up more doors, so you can get more um, options open to you. So Aries, I won't tell your boss about this video. And... Go find what makes you happy because I am getting that my Aries needs a big change, whether it be relationship or job, really. But regardless of what it is, whoa, five of swords and the nine of pentacles again. Dang. Oh, that's eight of pentacles. Sorry. This deck is decidedly hard. Ooh. Two of cups at the bottom of the deck. All right, so it does seem like this is work-related with the Eight of Pentacles. Five of Swords and Seven of Swords, though, guys. That's tricky, tricky. It's tricky, tricky, tricky. Oh, I did forget to put uh, my girl's music on. There we go. Here's Lockett. Um, Definitely. So it's work-related. You need to go somewhere else. All right, the song is called Compromise. All right. He was the strong and silent type from the start. Interesting. That might be the hubby energy. If you do have a strong partner behind you, you don't have to worry about anything. Um, it looks like Aries, or if you don't, two of swords, you don't know what to do. Aw. All right. I'm sorry, bud. Death, you know you're changing, though, and you know you're outgrowing where you're at. That's part of the problem, sweetheart, is you're outgrowing it. It's getting like the clothes are getting too tight and the jeans don't fit no more. And sometimes you got to buy new jeans. So I just I definitely feel like, whoa, that's a lot of cards, but I'm going to take them. Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Try something new. Create something new. It's time. Strength with the Hangman, Ace of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Two of Cups. Holy shit. Okay. All right, three cups, seven cups, four, four, two, one. Um, save money right now, Aries. Save if you can. Okay? Let go of any disappointment and go find your new, your new start. It, it, it does seem like you have the backing of a partner or you will soon if you don't right now. Because there is definitely like romantic love all over this reading too. So, Aries, when do you not have that kind of thing? Um, watch out. Watch out for a soulmate coming in. Or if you're married, just know that your marriage is solid, but that you may need to move um, companies you work for. I won't tell your boss, I promise. And if you need a personal, Mama Faya Tarot, F-I-Y-A, tarot at Gmail. I am here for you, my Aries. Um, it does look like really letting go of any pain from the past is going to be helpful for you. Trying to not get defensive with your current employer. I think that's going to be, ooh, I just got dizzy. What's that about? All right. Yeah, try not to get too Aries on anybody right now, Aries. <laughs> try not to be too much of yourself. Not easy. Let me see. Come on. Give me a card, Haya. Higher Arcana deck. Then I'm going to throw another oracle, Peach Tree Oracle. Pear Tree. I always call it the Peach Tree. I've been screwing up. Pear Tree. There we go. Ooh, the Hermit again. All right. With the devil at the bottom of the deck. Oof. That's big company. Get away from it. Get away from the devil. Aries. 
Get away from the devil, babies. Okay? Spend some time alone. Really think about what you got to do. You know, if you have any vacation time or something, take a day if you can and really evaluate if you're in the right place and where you need to go. Okay, my sweets? Bravery. Be brave. Be brave. You are nothing if not brave, Aries. That is one of your core traits. So, I mean, or to bring in abundance, you may need to leave an, a, a relationship. Something needs to get left. Okay, Aries? So, whatever it is, beat it! All right? It's, it's hard to call when I'm doing an abundance reading entrapment yeah it's that either that company or that relationship that has you feeling trapped you've got to get out of it okay we are not trapped yeah there's someone my Aries don't trust if you don't trust somebody really watch it babes because it's just not it's not what's up trust is everything in relationships whether they be work or love and if you don't have trust you have nothing so uh, surround yourself with people who you trust and don't ever feel trapped yeah you're I'm glad I ended on this you are a queen of wands you this is your card Aries she is confident she is beautiful she is smart she is mystical she is the witch of the Queens no one fucks with her be that be that queen be the queen of wands you've got this Aries you know abundance is yours. You're brave as fuck. Yes. Just wait for June. Okay? June is going to be a really nice month for a lot of people, and in my Aries included. And I think that if you start looking now at your options and open up some doors, it's going to be really great for you. So I'm real excited for you, Aries. Find your strength. There's a lot of Leo all over this. And uh, Leo is always all over Aries. <laughs> um... I love you guys. Get these numbers up so you can go first again next week. Okay? Bye.